Another sign of the times, maybe, huh? We often hear about how stress can affect your health and your life, for that matter. Uh, and now we hear that visits to mental health experts are up and on the rise. How can such advice with a doctor help you? Uh, Dr. Keith Ablo, psychiatrist, Fox News contributor. Doctor, good morning to you. Good morning, uh, Bill. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you. On a Monday, happy Monday to you. Um, Thank you. Did, did you see this in your own practice? Absolutely. My practice, like those of, I would imagine, many psychiatrists and psychologists and social workers across the nation, has more people coming in now uh, complaining about anxiety and depression related to financial matters. I've never seen, in you know, the 16 years I've practiced psychiatry, I have people coming in now from many socioeconomic backgrounds, right? People middle class and people with great resources who are now measuring their longevity financially in the number of months. How long can I keep going? Is that That's right? terrible stress and anxiety. Well, th th it is anxiety, it is stress. I, I imagine there's some fear involved in there. How do you th counsel them? all of that. Absolutely, there's all of that. There's fear, there's a sense of uh, not being able a terrible blow to your self-esteem. Am I a competent person? What do I do? I tell them, first of all, you need more information, not less. You know, fear grows uh, in the absence of data. Sometimes people imagine they're worse off than they really are. Get the information. Get help. That can be a financial planner, it can be your accountant, it can be a lawyer to mitigate some of your debts. It can be a friend who extends you a little financial lifeline. Talk more about it, not less. And remember, it's the white elephant in the room. If you're arguing with your spouse, uh, if uh, you can't seem to uh, be the kind of parent you want to your kids because you're flying off the handle, think about whether it might be financial stress at the core. You say get more information. And others have come out and argued that the headlines, the newspapers, the internet, 24-7 cable only contributes to the anxiety. Well, well, I, well how, how do you balance that statement? You know, I don't think so. I think there's a kind of community that occurs. If there is a saving grace in this, it's that people report to me, listen, at least I'm not the only one. I know I'm not alone. I know this is a national problem. And I should also say, Bill, that psychiatrists point. and others shouldn't forget that sometimes people need a little medicine to get through this. Now that may seem uh, to be, you know, bringing out the heavy guns, but sometimes you need an anti-anxiety medicine and sometimes people who get truly depressed, remember it's winter, that can bring a whole new dimension to this with seasonal affective problems. You might need an yeah, antidepressant we, 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 on board. We've talked a lot about the mentality here, but it also affects lack of sleep, poor diet. It can damage your relationship with family, friends, and coworkers. And ultimately, self-esteem is on the line here. Uh, you said the word pride. That's right. The there's no question that people do a kind of inventory. You know, we have faces we present to the world, but, but it's a mirror as well. And we look in the mirror, we say, how are we doing? Uh, how, uh, how have we proceeded? Have we met our goals? Uh, have, can we provide for our families? These are deep questions that people have, and they need to know from their mental health providers, look, it isn't you. You're good and you're a decent person, and this will change, too. The other thing I tell people is I've never had a single person come to my practice and rate their parents in retrospect as to how much money they were able to generate. Well, that's it. How much they were loved every single well, time. Remember, you're a good and decent person. Dr. Keith Ablo, thank you for your time. Thank Good you, end. Bill. Okay.